Changing Places That Are Home is helping educate youth about how to help homeless animals in the Chicago area. Please welcome Changing Places That Are Home. My name is Corbin Houston, and I'm a junior at Kenwood Academy. And my partner is Sierra Turks, who's a junior from King College Prep, who is not here today. And our LGP was changing places that are home. Our mentors, our mentors are Gian, uh, who we also call Jerry, and then also Wal. And our community and school partners are the Humane Education Department at the anti cruelty Society in Chicago, Alley Cat Allies, and the Service Learning Project team at Kenwood Academy. Our issue we were addressing was animals' homelessness. And over time, our goal was to involve more youth to help homeless animals and educate the community around us with those youth about the issue of what entails an animal and how it becomes homeless. Our project, first, over the summer, we planned and set up of a timeline and what we were going to do. Uh, we researched and discussed what we were going to do uh, throughout the project and what we really wanted to do. And then we did a budget and reconfiguration of that budget many, many times to get it down packed to what we really did need. And then we had the implementation of the project itself. We did a Facebook page where we connected with other organizations in Chicago, uh, local business, a dog food truck, uh, High Park Cats in Chicago, and other organizations where we help post lost dog pictures and help communicate other things that are going on and getting involved with helping homeless animals. And we also had a Helping Homeless Animals project that came with Academy with the service learning team where students made posters where we wrote a letter to the Cook County Commissioner of the 13th District about a hearing for feral cats in Evanston. And we also are finishing up with making chew toys and everything for dogs out of recyclable materials and continue with passing out more information. And the sum up is this presentation and finishing up our project. We redefined our success over time as our project was over changing. As you see in the picture, me and Sierra were talking with uh, Tammy Brucher at the education, Humane Education Department, anti cruelty Society to see what we really wanted to do. And over time, it was more getting more youth involved and educating with people, educating people about the homeless animals and why they occur, which can occur for a variety of reasons of being lost or never having a home, being born on the street, and other things such like that. And also connecting with others, being able to connect with others and work together and come up with a successful project. And reflection, um, budget and planning takes a long time, and you might have to do it over and over again. And the collaboration of it, uh, collaboration is kind of key with types of projects like this, and you need to collaborate with other people in order to come out with a better result than what you attended by doing it yourself. And the project, the youth were very excited about helping homeless animals and actually helping the animals with doing these things and making their toys and beds and other things and such and actually advocating for them. And what we want you to do as a reflection of this presentation is to really think about what you can do to get involved, uh, adopt smartly, not because you like how the dog looks and make sure you financially plan on keeping that animal for the rest of the life. And cats and dogs can live a very long time, about 20 years. Um, so that's what we would like for you to get from this presentation. Thank you. <laughs>